A strong cold front's moving south across Texas today, bringing the risk of severe storms and maybe some risk of a tornado to southeast Texas going into this afternoon. Let's talk about it in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Boldy and Chief David Reimer. It is Tuesday, the 28th of October, 2025. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to pop on in for some Texas weather information. Let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to start with the severe weather outlook for today, tonight. Storm Prediction Center now has added the risk of scattered severe storms across southeast Texas, the Piney Woods of East Texas, down to the Golden Triangle. This is roughly from the east sides of Houston and Galveston up to near Jasper and Center, with a risk of isolated severe storms a bit farther west. Primary hazard with the more intense storms this afternoon as a cold front moves southeast and we see scattered storms develop will be the risk of localized damaging wind gusts, and due to a bit of stronger low-level wind shear, we can't rule out a few tornadoes, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that as that threat has been increased with the latest severe weather outlook. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on that going into this afternoon before the risk diminishes this evening. Otherwise, here's the high-rise rapid refresh model. You can see this is going to be a fairly fast event with storms developing along the leading edge of the cold front as it moves into southeast Texas, east Texas, the Golden Triangle after about 3 p.m. with the risk ending as storms move offshore or into Louisiana by probably 8 to 9 p.m. this evening. So keep your eyes up and in a swivel going into this afternoon and evening keep an ear out for any weather warnings that may be issued and if we do have tornado warnings we'll be here to bring you that latest texas weather information otherwise main impacts across texas today tonight wednesday will be strong and gusty north winds at much cooler temperatures as crashy the cold front makes its way down another issue we're going to have to deal with going into tomorrow definitely will be extreme wildfire danger uh, surface fuels remain dry, and with such strong north winds tomorrow and a very dry air mass coming into place, the threat of wildfires will be very high to extreme across the southeastern half of Texas, meaning any fires that get going will have the potential to spread uncontrollably until we get conditions improving Wednesday night. So it could be some very impactful issues tomorrow if we get a fire in any wildland urban interface. Otherwise, here is the long-range outlook. Taking a look at the jet stream from the European Weather Model Ensemble, about 18,500 feet above sea level, 500 millibars halfway up the atmosphere, you can see strong northwesterly flow aloft today from an amplifying upper-level trough that's going to be moving across the eastern United States, bringing a storm system up the east coast heading into tomorrow. And Thursday, for us here, just reinforcing shots of northwesterly flow over the next week, which will keep overall rain chances low with a couple of cold fronts possible with temperatures in the afternoon at least after the next two days returning to seasonal averages. But some fairly chilly overnights are most definitely on the bingo card tonight into Wednesday night and even Thursday night. Here's the European weather model. You can see it does show maybe a few showers with the next cold front coming on in Saturday night and Sunday. Not a big deal at this point. Otherwise, our main precipitation issues over the next five days will be with that cold front moving southeast today across East Texas and Southeast Texas. So we'll keep an eye out, but uh, yeah, I guess beyond today, we may see a few showers Saturday into Saturday night. This afternoon's high temperature forecast as crush the cold front continues moving south. North of the front, temperatures will be falling into the 50s, 60s, low 70s. South of the front, 98 in Laredo, 99 in McAllen this afternoon, upper 80s to 90s Corpus Christi, 91 in San Antonio, 88 in Houston. Tonight, a hard freeze across the northwestern and western parts of the Panhandle as Dowhart falls to 26, Dumas 29. That'll end the growing season there. We're expecting lows near freezing in both Amarillo, Lubbock, up to Pampa. Tomorrow afternoon, highs 50s in the Panhandle in West Texas, Guadalupe, Davis Mounds. We're going to have 50s in Northeast Texas and Texoma. 60s, northern half of the state, with 70s across South Texas. How's that for Crashy the Cold Front? Now it's going to really feel like fall. Heading into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, a hard freeze across all of the Texas Panhandle, lows into the 20s. We're looking at lows down into the low to mid 30s, West Texas. 
the big country into parts of the big big country the concho valley and especially sheltered areas down the hill country and the big bend so a frost up across the western half of texas most definitely possible as we go into wednesday night thursday afternoon bit warmer highs back into the 60s and 70s statewide friday morning another chilly start to the day we're looking at lows mostly in the 40s or 30s across all of texas an exception being the immediate texas gulf coast and deep south texas where lows look to be closer to the 50s but uh, yeah you're going to definitely want your sweaters long range forecast uh we're probably going to be near average maybe a little above average temperature wise hanging into the weekend next week rain chances are not looking good so beyond that we are not dealing with any issues from the tropics we are going to have to keep a close eye on the risk of storms this afternoon though again across east texas southeast texas so if we have tornado warnings we'll bring you live severe weather coverage Otherwise, it's moving day for me, so I'm going to go back to packing boxes, and luckily I haven't taken this office apart yet, so we're not going to do that just yet. Thanks for tuning in. You can always get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, daily Texas weather roundups, and more in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers or you download apps to your device, and again, any severe weather issues, tornado warnings, we'll have coverage later on today. Have a good one. God bless.